Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm gonna solve it live right about now. Hearts. Uh, okay, cool. 529 Minesweeper. Let's play the Minesweeper game. And this is a Wikipedia link. You're given a 2D char matrix representing the game board. M represents an unrevealed mine. G represents an unrevealed empty square. And B revealed an revealed blank square that has no adjacent mines. Digit 1 to 8 represents how many mines are adjacent to this revealed square. And finally, X represents a revealed mine. Now, given the next quick position amongst all unrevealed square, we turn the board after reviewing this position according to the following rules. Uh, if a mine M is revealed, then the game is over, changed to X. If an empty square Y is, uh, is with no adjacent mine is revealed, then change it to reveal blank and always adjacent unrevealed square should be revealed recursively. If an empty square with at least one adjacent minus view, then change it to the digit one to eight, and that's it. Return the board when no more squares were revealed. Okay, so I feel like I actually play a lot of Minesweeper. Uh, maybe not anymore, but when I was younger, because it came free with Microsoft Windows, right? So, uh, so I think I get the rules, though. We would double check. Okay, so where are we clicking? Is it, where's the input? Okay, so input will tell you where to click. Uh, and then these are all empty and in the beginning you click on here and then it do, 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 do. And then a review minus X But you don't review that one. Okay, so basically The idea behind this one will be either death first search or breath first search, but uh, just processing them one at a time uh, you, For example, you don't need to review all and review my oh yeah the game is over we don't have to review it okay fine input do we have to review that the game is over i don't think so okay it's 50 okay then put will be a stage when the game is over some might have been reviewed okay well let's let's just do it i mean i i think we and un i understand how uh mine sweeper works but of course uh, that's the, one of the tricky part about an interview sometimes is that they give you a problem that relates to something that people know about But it is different in some weird way and then everyone is trying to wrap around You know, they focus on a part that is weird about it. So but I would just solve what I believe is the minesweeper problem And okay, so you begin with Y is unrevealed, B is reviewed Uh Okay, so basically you only reviewed a mine if you click on it. So I think that part is straightforward. So let's just do if, uh, okay, let's also just change to uh, RC is equal to click. Oh wait, how many clicks do we get? It's just one, right? Because we have a list of ints. Okay, I guess that's fine. I just wasn't sure. Um, okay, if the board of RC, and actually let's, let's set this up, rows is equal to uh, length of board, columns is equal to length of board of zero. Uh, they t okay, so they do force that is between 1 to 50, so I don't have to do any bound checking. If they are wrong on that one, I'll be a little bit sad. But uh, yeah, but if this is you go to the mine, do then we can then we can just return the board after we shift that to no you are sad and it's a list of a list of a string okay so I can do this that's what I'm trying to do uh, and is, is there a test case where this is true let's set up the test cases a little bit so we could have a little bit of a resemblance of a uh, of um, TDD <laughs> uh, okay. Is it diff? Okay, so the first one is wrong, which we knew because we didn't write any code. But the second one is right, so at least we understand the problem a little bit better as well. Uh, okay, so that's the base case or an edge case, maybe. Uh, if an empty, so the only other thing is. If it is 
yeah if, if um so we do this recursively but if it is not a blank square we just change it to the number of adjacent squares okay let's, let's do this let's just write and you could do this recursively or with a breath first search. Uh, like I said, with a death first search or breath first search, this is essentially similar to flood fill out type algorithms with uh, or island finding or something like that. But you you basically, if you get a square with no mines, uh, no adjacent mines, then you just keep on recursively looking at his neighbor. So that's basically what we're going to do here. Um, and before that, let's just do a look at... Um, and oh, adjacent. I just want to make sure that the directions are either four directions or eight directions. Uh, and in this case, that's fine. So, mm -hmm. uh, oh man, I got a little distracted. Give me a second. Uh, Oops. And then this, oh, the diagonal, oh yeah, the diagonals. I usually write this in a different way, so I think I'm just a little bit uh, bad about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we can do the recursion. Let's just do it. I call it that for search, and then we just have a row and uh, I just call it a row and a column. That is not this one, but we will call this one. But yeah, uh, if board of RC. Okay, so now let's just do a count for each one. So, what is year again? I don't know, year is just an empty square. But then we want to change it from okay so we only want to um yeah so we only want to process this if this is a ye so okay or return so let's say that it is a ye then we just go through all the directions to um to look at it Mm, let's say DRDC. The new R, new C is equal to. And then now we just have to make sure that it is within bounds. And let's say we, we count the number of um, if for. RC is you go to a mine, we increment. If it is not, then why did I do notation? This is kind of weird, but did I click something? I think I clicked on, did I click on one or submit? I don't know, but it seems like I may have gotten a wrong answer. Some kind of hotkey thing. Uh, okay. Uh, I ran the debugger maybe. I don't need. Okay, can I get rid of this? Okay, there we go. At least it got rid of the thingy. But, um, but yeah, so now you look at the count. If count is greater than zero, then we're done. Right? All I see is equal to um, of the string of count. And we know that this is a single digit, so we don't have to do any crazy math. And then we return. Otherwise, we set it to zero, or is it zero or blank? Oops, blank. And then we recursively look at the neighbors again. So we do the same thing here. Um, yeah, and then we could just do TFS of NR and C. Um, and if it, and this will only trigger if it, it is an, uh, you could, um, a non, an empty space and use space. So that should be good. And then now 
we do it on our input and then we return port oh wrong answer Mm. Maybe I didn't understand this one yet, but uh, is the first one okay? This is really hard to read actually, because I, is there a way to make this bigger? can drag and make this longer, but uh, okay. So my output is that there's a lot of yeast and one B. Hmm. So I'm just not recursing quite right. That's okay. Um... And then in the second case, oh no, the second case is still okay. It's just the first case. Basically, it expects us to click on all these other ones, but I do not click on all the other ones. Hmm. That's a little weird, but. Uh, I've just checking, double checking the typos, but hmm. Okay, let's just do a quick debugging. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused, but let's, let's take a look. Okay, so it definitely doesn't seem like it did the recursion. So the so this definitely tries to do it, but it doesn't go through here. Did I? Oh, I I'm just being an idiot. Uh, that is not. This is, should be rows and this should be columns. Okay. Mm, silly mistakes. Um. Okay, still the wrong answer, but hopefully slightly better. Um, what is the delta? Oh, did I muck this up? Oh, yeah, I, I checked the wrong thing, so that's fine. A lot of typos on this problem for me, but yeah, okay, that looks good. So let's submit it. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's just basic depth of search, even though I had numerous implementation typo. Uh, but that's where, you know, that's why we're practicing. And when you practice, you kind of, um, you, yeah, you kind of, I don't know, just get a little bit uh, less, you know, you get more familiar with your coding and then get, figure it out. So this is just depth of search, and you can show that you, uh, so what is the one time complexity, right? So the worst time complexity is that you look at each cell once and for each input for this to this input, you do at most of all of one amount of work. There's, there is a full loop here, but it always does at most eight, eight ish up, uh, you know, operations, uh, or eight ish times some constants, if you want to put it that way. Uh, and also all of eight ish here. So all of, uh, so it's going to be linear time because we look at each, uh, sell at most once uh, for a given click. So yeah, and in terms of space, uh, we depend on how you want to put it. Uh, we actually just use the input board and then updating it. So we don't use any extra space. But if you want to be strict, uh, we do linear space in that 
linear being, by the way, is rows times columns because linear is in the size of the input, and the uh, input is n times m or rows times columns, not just you know. So it's not quadratic in that sense, but um, but yeah. But that's all I have for this problem. That seems pretty straightforward, except for that I implementation is always tricky. That's why you always have to keep it sharp, always keep on uh, getting it ready. Um, I think this. I actually think this is a relatively uh, common, maybe not common, common, but I know people always want to ask this as an interview question uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so definitely practice this and for interviews. And even if you might not get this directly, uh, these kind of thread fill algorithms or or recursive uh, type things with that first search uh, will they come up all the time on interviews. So if not, this one is something similar, especially like Iden finding or something like that or foot fill. Um, yeah, for competitive depth research, it happens all the time. So you gotta, you just gotta know it. Uh, but yeah, but that's all I have for this problem. So.